everybody, this is Tara from Tara's Truths. Today is Sunday, April 11th, and I would like to do the weekly reading for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine and their connection. So whether you consider yourself a twin flame connection or a divine counterpart or a sacred union, however you divine your journey is how you define it. Uh, I personally do resonate with twin flame or I also resonate with divine counterpart. Sometimes I'll say soul union, it, it, but it's all the same thing. It's basically intended for those of us on a romantic journey um, where we find the other person who has our soul, that we share a soul. Um, and for me, I do believe that soulmates are much different than divine counterparts or twin flames. A soulmate could be anybody. A soulmate could be a friend. It could be a pet. It could be a parent. It could be a daughter. It could be a sister. It could be a brother. It could be anybody. Um, it could be a grandparent. You know, it could be a stranger that you meet that you just have this great connection with and you're, you walk away the better for it. So that's really what a soulmate is. Um, soul tribe or soul family are people that you have with, throughout your life. And most people have this where you really just eternally trust this person and they trust you and it's just this sharing and love. And that could be a spouse. It could be. Um, but it's more or less like a friendship kind of thing. And it could be a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Um, but it, a, a twin flame or divine counterpart is that it's that plus more, but it's usually a romantic. It actually has to be romantic because sex is a very large part of it. And it's about healing and moving forward in that healing for yourself, for the partner. And also when you awaken, it's it's meant to help awaken you. It helps raise the vibration of each other, of the unit, and the planet. So it's really meant to help everybody. And through sex, through sacred sex, uh, every time you connect that way, you are helping each other heal. And you're helping the planet heal as well because you're raising that vibration of love. So no matter what way you connect with your twin, whether you're together or in separation or kind of talking but you're not together i mean there are so many ways these um relationships play out um and it's just so interesting to see all the different stages and all the growth spurts so to speak and the growing pains and and for me as a reader reading this energy that i've been doing now for at least two years it's so interesting to watch how these things cycle out and I've noticed since COVID or right before COVID, um, before it actually, I think it was like September. If you go back to like my August, September readings, I felt like a surge of new uh, divine counterparts coming into union, coming together. And I felt that and it was in my cards, um, in my readings. And then kind of, this was either pre-COVID See, yeah, the timeline's a little weird, but since COVID, I've noticed, I feel like more and more people are coming into union since um, that, because we need such great healing planetarily. I mean, this is a global pandemic and our planet needs to heal. And I think this is why more and more of us are being called to this journey. We're being awakened to this because healing is essential for us to move forward and thrive as as a planet, as a species. And I really feel that's very important. And I feel that this is just kind of my part in this and my contribution to this. Um, and I really hope that it helps you um, and helps heal you and gives you some guidance. I did start a thing on TikTok and I appreciate everybody's comments. And, and even here, some of you have followed me from TikTok and I really appreciate that. I'm very humbled by this. I like I said, I'm just here as one of you, as just to kind of help usher this healing, you know? I ultimately am a healer, and this is what I wanna do, and this is why I am here. So <laughs> thank you for listening. Um, but again, I, I appreciate you 
watching. So let's see what we have in store for the week. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I just, I guess I had to get all that out. All right. So as I was shuffling, I will list the decks in the description box below. But as I was shuffling the cards, these guys just flipped out. And again, like last week, um, this is a sacred geometry deck. We have the second chakra again. So this is the sacral chakra. So this is our, where our sex is. This is our our um uterus and our well i don't want to be technical this is i'll be spiritual this is where our uh womb space and our hora is i think that's the masculine word uh hora the hor yeah horus is a a god <laughs> anyway so uh this is the this is the the center of our abundance this is where we manifest from this is our uh our strength. This is where we create. This is about, uh, this is where we house home our children. This is where we create our children from our womb space and the masculines with, with their, um, with their sperm is housed in this area as well. So this is very important. This is vital for us, uh, to thrive as a species, to thrive as people. So, but that, that's what's held in that energy, in that space. And there's so much wounding there, especially around the divine. Well, actually the divine masculine has its own wounding around that space as well. Um, so I'm not going to say one is more than the other. It's just different. Um, but a lot of womb healing does need to happen. A lot of uh, old time religions kind of came in and just really took the sacredness out of out of the sex act and out of uh, our, our basic functions and our basic right. We're born to this. This is our, our right, our God-given right to have these types of experiences, these sexual experiences and these awakenings through this. And this is what we are healing as well. So anyway, so sacral chakra. So the energy of the sacral chakra helps us navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the sensual world. So again, for me, this is about um, abundance and creativity and manifesting and just sexual energy, which is creative energy. It can be harnessed not just as sex, but you can harness that energy and use it to create. You can create paintings or music or writing or whatever your outlet of creativity is. Photography. It's a it's a passion. This is where our passion comes from. And like I was saying, the other card that came with it was the freedom card. <clears throat> and for me, this is saying, because look at even the oranges in there. Like the colors are kind of in there with the sacral chakra. <clears throat> and this is about creating freedom within this space, creating the expansion, creating the openness, you know? I mean, all of our organs in that area have to open. The womb opens to and, and expands to create a, a, a child, a, a developing life. And then it, it, it contracts all of that out, but yet it keeps staying, it contracts, it squeezes, but it also opens to expand express that baby expel that baby and masculines you're you're holding in that um <clears throat> you're holding in your power your your sperm and then it opens and releases so there's an opening and release there all the time so um you know of course that's just what this is meant to be and there should be freedom to be able to do all of this you know, even our, our excrement is, is in that region. If you really think about it, the excrement that's, you know, our bladder holds it and it releases what's no longer serves. Um, so everything there is about that. And it's about freedom and having the freedom to hold it and release. And that's what it is. It's about holding it, creating it, housing it, and then releasing it, letting it go. And that's what needs to be accepted as normal, accepted as uh, healthy. It should be accepted. Uh, it, sh it should be accepted. And it's freeing if you're able to get to that space and really heal this wound space. 
it's freeing and it will help free you open up to your divine counterpart so that when they're ready to come in you're gonna have like this house this creative beautiful space that they're gonna wanna be. They're not gonna wanna be in, do you wanna be in some place that's all closed off? No, you wanna be in a place that's open and inviting and welcoming. And that's what we're looking to do. So freedom, the energy of freedom, freedom supports our sense of limitless possibilities and potential, boundless expression and bold exploration. So to me, together, hand in hand, these definitely go hand in hand. And this freedom is also about just expanding in general, like opening up and allowing the universe to give you, to uh, show you what it has in store for you. Okay. So this is, again, this is, I don't know if I said it, this is the energy surrounding the collective, the connection. Okay. So this is what's happening. So if you're in separation, if you're together in union, or if you haven't met your partner yet, this is what is so you are. There is a connection between you. So this is what's surrounding. So we have the Ace of Wands, the ten, and then these just kind of all came out. So the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So for me, this is kind of like telling me a little bit of a story that, you know, there was some, and the, the Wands is also this, uh, second chakra energy this sexual energy this is passion this is creativity this is the spark of it this is about um our intuition as well but this is also like um a spark of 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 passion of uh abundance creating abundance but i just feel like this ace of one it's almost like you all right let me start over so for some of you it's almost like I see a cycle here, okay? Like I see like you you started, you started off with the ace and now we're at the 10. And you went through all of the, you started with the creativity, it started and then maybe some of you kind of went full circle, okay? And it was, may have been uh, a lot of work that you put into this connection, uh, maybe that you put into yourself. Um, but the connection itself, went through a cycle of starting and then now coming to the end and perhaps some of you are in this space of of um like like um like you're closed off okay like you know like this may be speaking about some some of you who have recently gone through a separation okay like it started and it started off great and now it became too much work and it was just now you're off on your own carrying all your emotions carrying everything you need to carrying your hopes and dreams with you and you feel like you failed you know um and i'm saying that because this space of the five of pentacles is like i'm just trying to see if I, if you can sorry if i'm holding it properly this space of the five of pentacles is like, you know, woe is me. Like you're in this dark, sad, depressed space of you've lost, you know, and you know, how am I ever going to get that back? I'm never going to get back to that. I'm never going to have this person again. Um, this horrible thing happened and I didn't want it to. And I'm just, I'm just so sad and lonely. And, but <laughs> here's the thing. In this, you went through the whole thing. You're not alone because you have a beast of burden is what came to me. This bull. This bull is carrying, helping you carry all your stuff. And there's a key here. So you're the one that can get yourself out of this. And it's asking you to. Okay? It is asking you to get out of this funk if you're in it. This could be if you're in separation. This could also be if you're in connection. There may be things going on in your connection that you're feeling this way. And I'm not saying it's bad to be in this space because, you know, sometimes we do have to grieve. I mean, we have to mourn. We have to let go. That's part of the freedom. It's, it is healing to cry and, and sob and be sad and go through the highs and the lows, but it's not healthy to stay there. Okay. So this is, 
This is just saying around the connection that this energy exists in the connection on some level and that's okay. It's just where it is. We also have this and this is why like I, I put them and I'm like that's there's and they were all face down and then this flipped down. I'm like I think I might need more. And look, we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is, the Swords energy is ideas and, um, oh God, thoughts. So he's kind of like realizing now he's almost like come to his senses is what I'm saying. Almost like you went through this, okay, or you're going through this or, or the connection has gone through this, okay? The connection went through this stage of just being very bright and great in the beginning and wonderful and then it went through 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 and then oh god you know this is terrible and you know this is horrible and you know overworked and it was just too much work and blah 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 and then it's like oh what was me kind of thing like the connection went through this but there's also this part of the connection where the connection's like kind of coming to its senses like we don't have to live in that space the connection can let go the connection can move forward okay because this is about movement look he's running towards that bike and he's going to jump on this bike and, and just zoom away and we have this flying crow here and interesting that he has this uh bow you know like like a target like i'm thinking like he's got his he's got his eye on the prize like he's got an idea and he's running with it and this is the Knight of Swords. So running forward with ideas, new ideas about the connection. And the new ideas about the connection is actually learning to work together and collaborating and finding somebody that to help you through this, you know, whether it is uh, a mentor, whether it's another, you know, a card reader or whether it's um, another person pair of twin flames that you see in a really beautiful space um, or whether it's you know your own guide that you're listening to if you listen to your own guides we all have guides if we listen to our own guides they will help us learn to work together with not just our twin but with other people so this is asking you to work to go towards the idea and I said about a target for me this is almost like target like a you know like target practice, like he gets to shoot this, he gets to, you know, collaborate with these people, he's running to here, okay, this is where he's going off to, he has an idea, hey, I'm going to start to work with my twin instead of against it, and together, when you work together, look what you create, you create all these beautiful new ideas with um, happiness and joy and love and abundance, that's what the wands is, wands is also about uh, joy and abundance, you know, joy and happiness. Beautiful. I really like that. All right, let me get some trees. What do we have here? Let's get some trees here. It's too many, Spirit. What do you want to add for, to this? Give me some words to add to this. All right, so we have up oh, play. See, like I said, it's going to bring you to play and compassion so i'm getting that the compassion is have compassion for this part it's oh this is not easy i've said this in in other readings if you're on this journey this is not for the faint of heart this is for those of you who really want to open up and heal and the compassion is to have for yourself okay that's what i'm getting with this compassion and this is the love i feel like this is the heart chakra because we have the green and the pink, which are the two colors of the heart chakra. So this is asking you to love compassionately, to have compassion for yourself. And when you have compassion for yourself, you'll be able to have compassion for your twin, for your counterpart. And you'll be able to have compassion for others. And when you can do that, when you can find that compassion, you learn to work well with others instead of being combative. This is actually a really beautiful space to be in. I'm, I'm really kind of okay with this. At first I was like, eh, that's a lot, you know, but I feel like that this is already either this is past or this is happening 
or like I said, it's during the week. Maybe some of you um, are coming out of this and more into this now, or maybe some of you are like here and this might cycle through the weekend. So just through the week. So just stay in a, a playful energy and have compassion for yourself, no matter where your connection is. Okay. If you're not in this stage yet, you're going to be, it will come around that, you know, the nature of, of your divine counterpart is simply that you're together. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're in the physical or not. You're, you're, you're bound together by spirit. You know, this was your contract. This is what you both agreed to before you came here. I like it. All right, I'm going to get some romance angels just because. What do we want to say to the connection? Children, inner children. Let's see, your love life is being affected by children. Maybe some of you have children. This is about maybe about inner child work, which I am a big fan of doing inner child work. I think if we find all of our little children in there and we figure out what they all want, we can meet their needs because they are us. You know, we are them. They hold all of our, almost like the movie Sybil, <laughs> you know, there's really not, I mean, she was like, you know, she went from one to the other and didn't know who was who, but I mean, we all have all those little voices within us and those are all our little children saying, Hey, I, I want that. And Oh, Hey, I don't want to do that. And Oh no, why are we doing this? And Hey, what is this happening over here? We all have that. So if we give names or, or if we give voices to them and if we meet them, if we go in and meet them. We know exactly who it is and what they want and then we can either honor it we're in a place to honor it or we're not so if you know my inner child is like hey i want to paint today and i'm like i'm in the middle of work i can't paint you know but when i get home guess what i do i paint you know i i have to honor that so those are like the little things so i feel like you know working with inner child work um so see what that is or maybe like i said some of you might be working towards collaborating and get and having ch children together maybe that's what this idea is let's see what else all right forgiving and learning like i said that i think this is what this is and this is a very this is where this compassion comes in this is a really good place if you're in this if you went through this this is for the experience so you can learn to forgive, so you can forgive and learn and move on and grow from it. As you release and heal the past, your experience, you experience more love in your present moments. And that's what this is about, being in the now. If you're not in connection with your twin, there's a reason you're not in alignment. When you come into alignment within yourself, you will come into alignment with your twin, with your partner. Uh, give your relationship a chance, okay? Work on your partnership, no matter what it looks like. If it looks like, you know, um, you're together and you're having going through some hard times, it's okay. If you're in connection, but you're not, you know, in a committed relationship, it's okay. Just let it be what it's going to be. If you're in separation, it's okay. Because work on your partnership within yourself work within the self go into this place and when you're here learn who these people are because then that will help you get out of it too because once you know what you want you'll be able to pick up the key nice all right because we're in the new moon let's get a moon shall we the moon all right what do we heal oh look hold your vision fixed moon love it hold your vision see don't let go this is this is, so basically the connection is holding its vision it's staying strong whether you trust in it or not it trusts in you whether you believe it or not it believes in you i do want to get another tarot deck another no, there's too many here. You know what? You know, I don't want to use this deck. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use the angel wisdom one. I feel like the angels. I didn't bring that out. So we'll bring that out. This is the angel wisdom by Rodney Valentine. Let's see what the angels want to say for this. Do we want to add any more for the connection? Because sometimes I like to bring in other tarot cards to see if it's going to like, you know, uh, mirror. 
All right, so any other messages for the divine connection? There's too many here. Well, no, all right, I'll take it. So we have the moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. All right, so I don't need to pick a message from angels because I got it right here. That's what this is doing. Release your fear. Let go of your fears. Revelations that make everything clear. Last week, I got the chakra card, the second chakra card with the transparency card. That's what this is about. This is about now you know. You can release it so things can become clear. And clarity brings you freedom. Beautiful. I love that. Oh, ten of cups. Look at this. See? This is about your connection. This is what it is. A happy marriage. Happily ever after. Emotional contentment. A loving relationship with your children. There's that children. Uh, raising children wisely and successfully. People you can trust. So this is saying, this is what your, your divine counter partnership is about. This is about having that happy family, that loving vibe, that loving energy. And if you're in this runner chaser situation, that's never happy. That's always, that's always this, always. And that's never a good place to be. Come into, come into this 10 of cups within yourself. And the, because the, the energy is in the connection. So tap into that energy. Figure out how to get to that energy. And then we have the king of swords. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice. Remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicate, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. So... Some of you may be in the space where your counterpart is emotionally unavailable, but you know what? That's okay. Cause that's where they are. That's what, and that's when, if you're in separation, that's what true love is accepting where the person you unconditionally love is. And if they're in a place of unemotional relationships, or if they're Un, if they're emotionally unavailable, meet them. If they're in this space, because this is the space of being un, emotionally unavailable, meet them with compassion. That's what this is. And you can create it. Come into passion <laughs> by showing compassion. <laughs> I know I'm weird. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm going to end this there because that was beautiful. I don't need to say anymore. Wow. Wow. Love it. I'm keeping these up because I love them. All right. So I think I started with the masculine last week. I am going to start with the feminine. So yeah, so I'm going to read the divine feminine first this week so this is how i do it i do cards for the masculine the connection then feminine the masculine so let's start let's see and if you guys want to time stamp it but i do get messages um like the beginning i just kind of explains like what you know for me what divine i think i did that i went off on a tangent i know all right let's see what we get here so oh oh all right, well, I have the intention of divine feminine, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> oh, feminine is nice. All right, let's pull some more. What do we also want to say? Divine feminines for the week of... Nope, they want me to read these. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, look at this. Six of wands. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wee. So this is beautiful because this is about victory, and you have... Look, you're being celebrated, feminines. You are being celebrated. So whatever cycle you came out of, wherever you are right now, you are in such a space of you feel like you came, you saw, you conquered, you know, and you are being celebrated. And look, even, and I love this, what's got me is look at the happiness and joy on her face. Let me see if you can see that. I'm not looking at my camera. So I might be pointing to wrong, but see the, the happiness on her face as she's handing down this flower to this 
older woman who's kneeling at her feet, it's like she's remembering who helped her out. And there's a child here and, and everybody's all happy. She's got, it's a celebration. This is a beautiful celebration. And she is, is in a space of, of warmth and love and um, happiness and joy. And she's sharing it because she has enough to share with the community around her. They're sharing their, hey, look at you, you did it. Oh my God, that's wonderful. And she said, oh, thank you so much. And accepting it, being the divine feminine and being open to all the praise and loving every minute of it and saying, oh, I have so much to give. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you love. I'm gonna share the flowers, you know? What beautiful energy, feminines, to be in. And look, while you're there, you get to spin the wheel. <laughs> the wheel of fortune. You get to move forward because you did whatever you are victorious for. Congratulations. Because you earned it. You earned it. Look, that, 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 this. Look, you went from the ten of wands to, to this. Where, where, where did it go? I lost them. Look, you went the ace of wands. See, like I said, the wands, you went through all the wands. So there's another part of you, feminines, that you're at this six now. Like, I, remember I said earlier, like, with the connection, you went from the ace of wands all the way through. Like, it kind of cycled through. The relationship cycled through. But you personally, this week, are at this place of, of, of victory and moving forward in that victory and moving on to your next stepping stone. That's beautiful. Where it'll land? Maybe it's going to land here in the Nine of Pentacles. Where you've created this beautiful place for yourself. Where you have a sanctuary, I want to say. Look how relaxed she is. She's just in her own. This is so, all the feminine energy is right in here. This is beautiful. She's in her own, you know, and this is, for me, pentacles, I know is about finances, but for me, it's also about uh, anything of value, which is self-worth for me. So this is realizing how valuable you are and allowing yourself the time to self-care, to go have the glass of wine and read the book and put your feet up and listen to the birds and sit in your favorite place and Smell all the beautiful oranges that are around you. Orange, again, hello, orange or tangerine, sacral chakra over here. You know, this this witch is a very happy little witch. She's got her cat with her somewhere. Oh, her cat's around her neck. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful. Plants, a lot of life, a lot of love, a lot of worth. A lot of value and when we're in this space as a feminine this is what draws the masculine to us when we hold this space because don't you want to sit there wouldn't the masculine want to sit next to you doing whatever he does maybe reading a book maybe having a beer maybe a cup of coffee whatever you know but this is your sanctuary feminines and you've created it because it's pentacles so it's earth so it's tangible you this is created this is what you're manifesting this is a really really beautiful beautiful space to be in all right i want to i want to get some more um i don't know i guess so justice so for me, usually this is like karma, but for me, it's almost like you're balancing out, like you're allowing yourself to balance. You're not paying attention to what is going on around you. You're stepping into the energy of like, you know what? I'm not going to pay attention to what other people have to say or what these quote unquote laws that I don't abide to because they're these man-made laws that don't resonate with me, um, such as maybe like religious laws from a religion that you don't follow, you know, and I'm not saying like there are universal laws, you know, and I'm not saying you can go against them because that's when karma gets you. 
but I mean like, you know, like these rules of like, oh, you're not allowed to have sex if you're not in a partnership or, um, oh, you're not allowed to reach out to your masculine and say, hey, how are you? You know, like those stupid little things that these stories that no longer serve us, you're not paying attention to them anymore and you're letting, you're, you're, and, and I'm getting this because even the cats are like, you know, bickering back and forth. And it's like, you're just sitting there like, yeah, whatever. You guys duke it out. I'm just going to sit here, hold my scales and stay in balance. Now, normally I don't read the card like this at all. But in this, with the rest of these cards, that's clearly what's coming through. Feminines, you have stepped into your own and you're not taking, you're, 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 what is the saying? You're kicking ass and taking numbers or something like that. But I don't really feel like you're coming from, you know, it's more like you're loving and you're loving yourself. You're taking care of you, feminines. And you're like, you know what? You guys want to duke it out. You go right ahead. I don't have to pay attention. I don't need to know what's going on in the news. I don't need to go know what's going on over here in this country or whatever. I'm going to work on me. And when I raise my vibration to love, the rest of the world will follow because this is how it works. When we raise our vibration, when we're happy and we exude that, people want to be around us and they want to be happy with us. So they'll come up and meet our vibration instead of being that low vibration that like the one apple that spoils the bunch kind of thing. Instead of staying there, if you stand strong and you're able to thrive in that space, other people will come to you that are also thriving in that space. And then together as a unit, including your twin or your counterpart, as a unit, you'll be able to help raise the vibration of the people who are in this space, who are hanging out here. Where is it? We're hanging out here. And this is a cycle we go through. I'm not saying we don't. I'm not saying that at all. Because we do, even though we hold this power, we do cycle through this. But when we're in this power, we can help those with compassion who are in this space. And then when we're in this space, those holding this space will help keep us up. And hopefully it will be your divine counterpart. <laughs> That when we get in here and we're all emotional and we're all like, oh, woe is me, the divine counterpart is like, yeah, I'm holding space high for you, you know, and vice versa. It will come back around. That's what this is all about. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love this. Love, love, love it. Let's get some trees. Love these tree cards. <clears throat> Too many. Come on, spirit. Let's see. Oh, there's so many, way too many, but I am, well, this one stayed down. New growth and gratitude stayed there, so I'm going to keep them. New growth, yeah, a new way of looking at things, and gratitude. I, I really feel that the feminines this week, have you have a great week coming up. The energy around you is just, it's beautiful. It really is. New growth, look how far you've come, feminines. And it's something to be grateful for. And and that's great. And, and, you know, the thing with gratitude is it's like paying it forward. You know, that's what this is. Like this giving, you know, she's grateful for the crowd cheering her on. You know, like, yeah, I did it. I did it. I own it. I'm going to own that I went through that. And look at me. I'm doing amazing. I'm standing in my power. I'm taking the next step and taking charge of my life. And I'm self-caring. I made that doctor's appointment. Celebrate it. Even something small like that. You have to go to the dentist. You've had to go for months. Make the fucking appointment. Yay. That's a celebration. Look, I'm taking care of myself. Something that you don't even think is worth something Everything is worth something. Every step of taking care of yourself is worth it. Like, you know what? I'm going to take a half a day at work today because I need some time for myself. That's what personal time off is for. Do it. Take yourself to the ball game. You know, take yourself out on, to dinner. Treat yourself. That's what this is. Small victories. It doesn't have to be this big thing of, oh my God, I finally got that promotion. It can be. 
or, oh my God, I finally, you know, I'm finally pregnant and that's great. You know, all these things are wonderful and that can be, but celebrate the small victories. You know, um, I got the coffee maker I always wanted. The other one broke, but I got one I want. Happy day. You know, instead of doing, oh, it broke and I don't have the money. I can't get it. The, the. No, it broke. There's a reason it broke. So I can get the new one. That may sound silly, but I don't know. That's just what's coming in. So let's, oh, let's, uh, let's, let's get some angel, romance angels. Put these over here because I do want that, but I'm going to do that last. <coughs> All right. For divine feminines. Divine feminines. What do we got for the men fems? Oh, and I forgot to say that um, you can be a, a masculine person um, and resonate with the divine feminine energy. This is just energy. So when I read, I will say she for the feminines and he for the masculines. But we all have masculine feminine within us. This is just how it applies in our connection. One person holds the feminine energy while the other holds the masculine energy. So, like I said, you don't have to be a masculine, a male person, male person to hold the masculine energy. So this works for same sex, same sex couples, heterosexual couples, whatever. And even sometimes the feminine in the, the female person in the, in the dynamic may hold the mad divine masculine energy while the man holds the divine feminine energy. So it could be completely reversed. So Take it however it applies to you and your relationship, your divine counterpart. So I, there's no discrimination. It's energy. And love is love. And that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Pay attention to red flags. Interesting. The signs are cautioning you. I almost feel like don't give in to temptation is kind of like what I feel like. Don't be tempted to go back into this energy because this energy is surrounding your connection. It is there. So we can easily, very easily tap into that because it is present. And it's just a cycle that the connection has to go through. But as an individual, you have the choice to not tap into this. Or if you start to feel it, do something about it, you know, get it, spark a new idea, you know, spark an idea of moving forward, you know, with, with, where was, where was he? You know, do more releasing, do more of the releasing, listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. So if you're tapping into this part, reach out to the divine. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So I think that's the red flag. I'm not really getting that there's like a red flag with your divine counterpart. And oh my God, this person isn't for you. No, 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 no. Not how it reads at all. Let's see what else. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, I, I feel that some of you moving forward. Um, and I feel like a heart to heart conversation with yourself. Um, write yourself a letter. Like sometimes uh, people suggest writing your divine counterpart a letter. Definitely do that. But write yourself a letter as well. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the divine. Write the divine a letter. And maybe this is, for those of you in separation, maybe there will be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. If you cannot have it for whatever reason, write them a letter. I, I keep saying write a letter. And maybe some of you will be in connection with your divine counterpart soon if you're in separation maybe you will you know you hold this space long enough feminines divine masculine will pick up on that energy and move towards you maybe that's what that swords was learning to work with you within the connection and coming up with beautiful ways new ideas of how to move your relationship forward and it should move forward it shouldn't be the old way because the old way if you're in separation the old way didn't freaking work so let it die a natural death and let it be reborn. The end of the cycle. Let that cycle go out and come back, come to a new one. Instead of going backwards, move forwards. Oh, reconciliation. Look at that. Like I said, some of you may be coming back together. Someone from your past is returning, returning to your life. See, 
So it's like returning, they're coming, you know, it, it's a reconciliation, um, a reconnection. Um, yeah, I do think that some of you, this is what's going to happen because you're standing strong in this energy. You know, masculines want to be around this. Other feminines want to be around this. Animals want to be around this. You know, this is where we want to be. This is what we want to own. We want to keep the fighting over there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not saying, you know, we don't fight or argue or whatever. We even have the inner conflict. I'm not saying we don't. But there are ways to work with it. That's that's the key. So reconciliation. So some of you may be coming back into union, which is interesting. So see, have some faith. And it may not be right away. It may not be this week. I, I can't predict any of that. It's really up to you. It's what is your next step? And how much closer is it going to get you to your divine counterpart? They'll hear the call. The connection is strong. The connection is there. Let's see. Divine feminines for this week. What do we have for divine feminines for this week? Divine feminines. There it is. Surrender to the divine full moon. Look at that. We're not, and it's interesting because sometimes we'll get like zodiac signs and so far we haven't because sometimes I will say like if it's like a Leo, I might say, all right, some of this might be coming around like in August. July, August, August, yeah. So surrender to the divine full moon. And didn't we get the moon over here? So we're kind of, we got moon over here, the moon. So here's a little bit of a connection here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Love, love, love it. What other cards did I pull? I pulled that. I did that. I want to just make sure. Yeah. All right. All right. So Divine Feminines. Let's see. What else? What do the angels want to say, Divine Feminines? Uh... Oh, look at this. We got a five of swords here. That's interesting. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or have questionable motives. So maybe this is for some of you. Maybe this is, I'm feeling like avoid people who lack integrity or have questionable motives. I'm kind of getting like more like uh An unwise choice. Before you act on impulse, think it through. You know, before you say the words that are going to hurt somebody, think it through. Because it's ultimately going to come back and bite you in the ass. I also feel like this is like, um, you don't have to get caught up in the fight. You don't, this is a reminder to not get caught up in other people's bullshit. Don't get caught up in other people's ideals. You know, what works in a relationship with one person, with one couple, is not going to work in relationship with another. You know, and we have a lot of people offering us advice about, oh, well, you know, that's just codependency or, oh, that's just doing this or, oh, that's being dominant or, you know, you're just a fool and you're being dominated or, you know, as the feminine, you know, that's a big thing. Like the masculine is the one that holds the more... Um, in charge kind of and, and i'm not saying women are not in charge feminines aren't in charge it's not what i mean but if you're in this counterpart you know exactly what i'm saying and to an outsider it may look like the feminines are being completely dominated and we're not we're being honored and revered and we flow as the masculines hold the container for us even the oceans are held by a container by the lands by the earth if not the whole planet would just be water so it's that and it has to stand strong the masculine energy has to stand strong and firm while we flow and allow and release and just be okay so don't listen to people who are in relationships that don't necessarily understand the dynamic of an actual divine counterpartnership because those are the constraints that we're trying to free us ourselves from. This is what we're trying to clear out. These old ideals that no longer serve. These old religious beliefs. These old wounded masculine beliefs. These old wounded feminine beliefs of the runner chaser. 
Woman doesn't have to run. Women flow. You don't have to run. You just flow. I'm going to get another one. So I feel like that that's like a, a bit of a, of a advice. Let's see. There's so many here. No, I'm going to all right, this one flew out. So we'll see what that is. This is what? Oh, the high priestess. Look at that. Beautiful. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. See, this is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. See, this is this is exactly what I was saying. Go within. Surrender to the divine. This is how you surrender to the divine. So meditate and turn inward, in, inward, inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not a time to action. Develop your intu intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom that you receive. That's how you surrender to the divine. That's how you do it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. All right. Feminines. Nice. Very, very nice. Some great energy for you guys today. A few ladies, a few femmes, a few femmes. All right, masculines. And I'm using the same decks that I've used in uh, the past couple of weeks because I really like how they play out for the for the energy of each of each one. So my masculine. My masculine for this week. For the week of the 11th through the 18th. All right. Let's see. Let's get at least one more. No, that's too many. No, way too many. Way too many. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Still not four of swords energy. That's interesting. All right, so we have this Knight of Swords, ah, Four of Swords, and the Six of Cups. All right, so what I'm getting is masculines, you're actually moving away from something, okay? You're actually, okay, I feel like you're moving towards freedom masculines this is beautiful all right i gotta sit closer because this is i'm kind of like excited masculines you have you had this idea of what you thought was going to work and now you have almost like you've opened up to new ideas okay and you're working towards them you're going towards them but this is asking you to take some time for yourself to rest and recover. Find that sanctuary. Last week, we had the Four of Swords for the Feminines. So I find it interesting that this week, we have it for the Masculine. So last week, look where the Feminines were. They were in that space of recovering and going within and taking the time. And now they're victorious. So Masculines, you're moving away from something that no longer serves you. And you need some time to process all of that. So you need some downtime. So it's going to help you reflect on what's important to you. You know, we get nostalgic because those are things that we resonate with that we, we long for. It's like a longing, like, you know, oh, when I was a kid, I went down to, you know, the park with my grandparents and, you know, like you long for not just to be with your grandparents, but you long for that feeling. You long for that desire of, of how you felt loved and safe and warm. You know, you're remembering the time in the summer when the ice cream man used to come and how excited you felt when you heard that, those bells, like the, the ringing of his music. So you're longing for, and then the experience of eating the ice cream and just, you know, loving it where your parents gave you like, you know, a dollar or whatever it was to run to the ice cream man. And you wait, wait, I have a dollar. And then he pulls over and you're so excited. And, you know, you're longing for that. You're longing for that. You're desiring that feeling. 
okay? So if you're able to step into this rest mode, okay, and you're, it, you stop, stop running with the ideas. And if you stop and listen to what those desires are, you'll be able to work towards them. So you'll find what brings you that feeling of safety when you were on the playground with your grandparents. You'll find what gave you that excitement when the music was playing and you got the dollar, which you thought was so great, and you ran to the ice cream man and you ate the ice cream and everything was so wonderful. You'll, you'll be able to recreate those feelings through another way. So it's not the, it's not getting stuck in this energy of the woe is me. I don't have this anymore. I don't have that. And this happened to me and that's so sad. And I'm not saying that it's, it's not necessary. Like I said, that inner child work, knowing what that inner, doing that inner child work, you'll understand what the desires are you'll really feel like I want that feeling of safety. How do I get it now? How do I give it to myself now? What is my next step? So masculines for this week, it's asking you to great. You had these great ideas. Now stop, sit with them and find out how you feel. Because also last week, the masculines were in the page of cups, which I feel like nostalgia is emotions. It's how we felt. It's that feeling. It's that energy that we, we hone and we just like, it's like an, ah, oh, you know, like a, just a relaxed or, or an excited, you know, those are ener Those are emotions. Those are our emotions and masculines are, are, um, for lack of a better word, trained to not really deal with emotions. You know, you're not encouraged. That's the word. You're not encouraged to deal with these. You know, we're encouraged masculines to deal with anger and frustration and, you know, um, fear, you know, and that it comes from a place of fear. And, you know, like, you know, just like, I just want out, just stop it. Just I'm out of here, you know, like, cause you know, masculines do hold very much that brain space, that head space. So the emotions, they're there, but to work through them from a predominant amount of masculines. And I'm not saying it's your fault. It's the way you're raised. And these are, these are the constructs that we're trying to break. So masculines, take a page out of your feminine's book and do this rest and recover because it's important. You need to, you need to go within, you need to say, you know what? I need to self-care because I need to see how I feel. I need to realize how I feel, not think about how I feel, experience how you feel, experience that. Maybe do like a, a um, maybe pull out some old pictures of your childhood and get a feeling of how you felt. Think about somebody that you loved in that past and Think about how you felt then and think about it will help spark you to go to that inner child and maybe do the inner child work and say, you know, what can I do now to help you feel that way again? Because we want to feel that way again. We all want to be nurtured and loved and, and hear the ice cream man or run down to the lake and catch frogs. You know, we all want that. Um, you know, we want to be able to sit in our room in the comfort of our our room that our parents house in our parents house or whatever and read the book that we used to love that we would read over and over and over and we want that we want that feeling of security so how can we give it to ourselves and i feel like that's what this week is for this week is masculines asking you to take that pause to do that to learn that to grow with that and i feel like it relates to your feminines as well you know the feminine connection will help you find these things Look at this. Look at this. Now, this is the judgment card. They call it karma here. I'm not really sure why. But it's like, I'm going to, I'm not even going to use the word karma because for me, it's almost like, to me, this is like the new moon. And we're in the new moon energy. So maybe set an intention for yourselves, masculine. 
that during this phase of the new moon, during this cycle of the moon, your intention is to find what your inner desires are. Find all the things that you loved and you want from when you were a kid or when you were younger. Um, so you can kind of bask at the moon towards your feminine even. And because the moon is the feminine energy and, you know, allow yourself to go in. The dark moon allows us to go within the dark moon. This, the earth is blocking the sun. So the sun isn't shining on that moon. So it's not reflecting back to us. That's what that is. So the earth being in the way, it's almost like allowing you to, you're still shining masculines because the masculine is the sun energy. Masculines, you are still shining brightly as ever. But now you look to your feminines who is now just not reflecting you anymore. But it's, it's helping you look through deeper, look within. Okay, does that I hope that makes sense because I got the concept and sometimes concepts come to me and it's hard to put into words. Um, but because the feminines are the emotional body, just as the masculines are the thinking body, and this is just true. Um, we can break these constructs and, and open up and step into the divine feminine power within yourself, masculines. I love that. And here's the Ten of Wands. Here's also how your your um with the with the what do you call it? It's just it's a lot of work. Here's the Ten of Wands in the collective. So masculines, you still have your work cut out for you. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to bear. You know, and you don't have to bear it alone. You don't have to go through it alone. You don't have to you don't have to go through it alone. It's a, it is a lot of work. And I feel like that that's what this is saying. It's a lot of work to, to have to put into this, but it's worth it because you're worth it too. Masculine, you're totally worth this. You have your work cut out for you this week, but take the time for yourself. Take the time to retreat because once you do that, once you don't have to do that anymore, like I said, the mask, the feminines are creating this space for you. So when you create this space for yourself, you'll be able to meet each other for coffee in this garden. Like I said, maybe the masculine sitting there next to her, having a cup of coffee, reading the book, just enjoying the weather, enjoying each other's company, doing your own thing, just kind of being. But you have to go through this first. So I feel like that this is what the cycle is. So maybe those of you in separation um masculines it's okay your feminines are okay they're holding space for you they're holding the space for you to do this they are holding the container while you go into your feminine energy that's what this is this is about learning the feminine and div divine feminine and masculine within ourselves we're strong enough to hold that space for you masculines so do it you're loved know you're loved and know you're you're valued and know you're this doesn't make you any less of a masculine at all. It makes you even hotter. <laughs> you can do this. That you can hold this space for yourself. Because then you can hold this space for us. That's what we want. All right, let's get some. There's too, way too many here. Way too many. All right, let's get some from the divine masculines here, shall we? All right. The psychic knowing. So you already know. You already know what to do. I feel like this is just reminding you that, yeah, you already know. You've been getting the insight too. It's this one. Love. Look, love. What I say, we love you unconditionally, masculines. Feminines love their masculines unconditionally, just like the masculines love the feminines unconditionally. This is unconditional love and unconditional trust. That's what this is about. That's why you probably love and trust each other more than you ever did any other partner in your life. Because that's what this relationship is. That's what this is about and stepping into it. But you already know that, masculines. So do your feminines. It's just a matter of time. Even if you're not together, that's what this is all about. It's too many. 
expansion, I, this one wouldn't come up off the table. Expansion. This is about expanding and being your best self. Moving forward, being your best self. Being free. Beautiful. All right, let's get some romance angels here. I don't know I have them upside down. <clears throat> oh, chemistry. <laughs> There's a strong magnetic attraction here. All right, so you are being drawn to your feminine's masculines. You feel the pull. You feel it. You know, the chemistry is there. Clearly, clearly there with your feminines. You can't, you can't get rid of it, and you never will. It just comes with the package. Calling in your soulmate. Look at that. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help, you, help bring you together. So this is, this is all what this is about. This is about so you can be with your divine counterpart. And I feel like this psychic knowing, it's telling you, you already kind of know who it is or you have an idea of what you want. So if you're in connection with this person, just keep doing the work because your feminines are in a really good space to help you out. Masculines, if you're not in, in separate, if you're in separation and you're running, Stop running. Listen to yourself. You don't have to run from your feminine. You're running from yourself. And that's okay because we do it. But it's okay. And if you're calling your part your divine counterpart in, the chemistry is there. You're you're calling it, you're calling them in. Oh, and this one wouldn't come up. Let's see. It is safe for you to love. Look at this. It's saying it's safe. Here's the love. It's safe. You're in a safe container to love too, to open up, to expand, to be free, to open up, to heal this second chakra. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's what this is. The highest energy of all love. Unconditional love. Oh my God. I love this reading. This is just so beautiful for the masculines. Let's get a moon energy for the masculines for this week. What do we have? Wow. Wow. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. And um, twins. <laughs> oh, well, Gemini is the twins, but Pisces, we got the two fish. But it's like a yin and yang for me. Meditate and contemplate. Beautiful. That's what this is about contemplating and meditating. Love that. Pisces, maybe some of you are Pisces. Maybe some of you are, your counterparts are Pisces. Maybe this is a time frame for something. Maybe your anniversary was in February, March. Maybe when you met. Maybe when you will meet. Maybe when you're going to come together. Who knows? All right, Divine Masculines. Let's see. What do the angels want to say? There's so many here, but I got these two. The Hermit. Look, going within. Time spent in peaceful meditation and mean, meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. See? That's what this time is. This is about resting, meditating, going within the hermit mode. Love it. Oh, here's your divine masculine energy. You can't make this shit up. This is saying divine masculines. This is how you become more divine. You step into your divine masculine energy by being able to go into your feminine energy too. The yin and the yang. Like I said, to me, this is the yin and the yang. The 69. The clearing out of the second chakra. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, st structure, and discipline. This is the divine masculine. Love it. Love it. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehens apprehens apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Guardian angel or someone who watches over you is exactly the part that I'm really paying attention to here. Because like I said, I wanted this as messages from the angels. So the angels is saying it's okay to go in to meditate and, and go seek out 
yourself. You are the divine masculine. Ask for help. You, you're being, you are protected because someone is watching over you. And this kind of fell out too. And it's the seven of wands. Uh, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. See? Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embracing secrets. Oh, embarrassing secrets. I said embracing. I'm going with that because for me, like I was saying, like a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. I don't think this is from now. I think this is um, the the social construct of, of masculine energy. Um that's been taken away. You know, personal freedom has been taken away in a sense of that all these things were put on them from centuries of religious beliefs and just domination and just utter ridiculousness of fear and and um greed and uh fear, just fear. So I feel like that you know, he's trying to get away with it, you know, like this masculine is trying to get away with that. But, you know, these other people over here, who's really being duped? Who's really the thief? The one running away. These guys have each other. They're around the fire. They're all nice and warm. This idiot's running off thinking he's got away. He's getting away with something. He's the one who has to deal with himself. Be over here. Who cares what this person is doing? And I said embracing secrets. Uh, it says embarrassing, but for me, it's like embracing secrets. Embrace what you're hiding. Not hiding, but embrace what's... Embrace this. Like, embrace this nostalgic. Like, don't keep it a secret anymore what your true desires are. Don't hold it from yourself. Expand. That's what I get from that. I misread that for a reason. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energies for both the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the Connective. I, I, this was an amazing reading, and I love how the Masculines are in a place where they need to be held, and the Feminines are in this strength. It is that yin and the yang. See how that works? It's It just, without even thinking about it, it just happens and we go through these cycles of of where one counterpart is is going through something very difficult and the other counterpart is in that particular spot very strong and where that counterpart might be going through something difficult where the other one is is holding very strong so you're able to you're both going through some shit but you also have like other strengths and you're able to hold that container for the other one and that's how the yin and the yang stay in balance too within the connection and if you're allowing yourself to experience this and expand and have the freedom to be that in the connection or within yourself you can expand and experience it within the connection too this was a really beautiful read well i hope this resonated with you Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I want to hear everything you have to say. Please follow me on TikTok because during the week I will post um, a couple of things where like I see, like I know, I, I already know I'm putting those two moons together at some point um, or all the moons. Perhaps I'll see how I'm being called. Uh, I'll try to get one out tomorrow at some point. Uh, it may not be the morning. It may be the afternoon or, or evening. Uh, but I will definitely, I take like the groups of cards and how they relate to each other. I leave them out on my, on my table for the week and I kind of get inspiration and then I want to share it with you because I see like other little things like to just kind of give you a little tidbit, uh, during the week. And, and that's how I'm, how I'm doing this. So if you follow me from TikTok, thank you. I know this was a little bit of a long reading, uh, but there was a lot of information, a lot of uh, energy is flowing and just some strength and oh, just a lot of love and acceptance and victory and and peace and calm and, and meditative and nostalgia and I just so much beautiful beautiful energy just beautiful expansion and and transparency and freedom 
So I hope to hear from you soon. If you want a private reading, reach out to me because we can set something up. I would be more than happy to give you a private reading. And I do uh, anticipate coming out with something very soon that I can offer them as a service where we can work through these energies together and I can help you manage this a little bit easier. All right, take care, have a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.